Well, this was a day also anticipated by students in the Gregory Portland School District, and our Chelsea Torres has more on the first day of in-class instruction there. About 25% of students enrolled here at East Cliff Elementary showed up this morning for their first day of in-class instruction since spring break. The first day back to school felt like a party. <laughs> Teachers and staff were dancing and waving. Cars were backed up with students waiting to be dropped off. Regardless of the current COVID situation, students were excited. He's a germaphobe, so he's a little nervous, but he is excited to be with his teacher. Dozens of kids strolled into school with face masks, supplies, and lunch, ready to take on a new and much different school year. GPISD is utilizing a pod system for its middle and high schools. The elementary schools have a different approach. Elementaries are typically uh, self-contained, where one teacher has their students all day long. And in some instances where the classes have been departmentalized, where a teacher maybe shares their students, some campuses may still have the teachers move from classroom to classroom to meet their students. It took about 15 minutes to get the drop-off lines cleared. Officials say overall, it was a smooth process. They also sent out um, videos to their families to teach them and say, hey, when you come to school on the first day, this is what the process looks like. This was just phase one for GPISD. Their phase two plan will begin September 21st with select grades and phase three will be September 28th. Reporting from Gregory Portland, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. All right. Thank you, ma'am.